This is RadioOnFire.com, home of the Sugar Mama Radio. Here are your hosts, Shamika Chantel and Chanel Nicole. I can't necessarily see myself, but I'm hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. We're now to back into Sugar Mama Radio. It's your girl, Chanel Nicole. And Shamika Chantel. Be more rap beefs. We just, let's get into it. Oh, you, you can keep talking. So... But, but can we start from the beginning? Oh, yeah, let's start. Just to kind of update, first of all, before we even start, I want to give a shout out to my little cousin Brice, who just screenshot our video and posted, "Hey, boo, <laughs> I love to show love to those who show love to us." Um, it's so many, though. So it many, is so many takes going on. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. But um, we're starting from the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Of the entire. Baltimore, and it's not even the complete beginning, but it's just the beginning that we know about. Right. Because a lot of people say Sugar Mama Radio has a lot to do with it, being as though we brought Maniac Dre on our show and did an interview with him and got the scoop about Swine Flu and his beef with Lil Scooter. Okay. So, it's like a lot of people say, you know, if it wasn't for our show, his side of the story. Who? Whose side of the story? Maniac Dre. Okay. It would have got out, but it wouldn't have got out as detailed. Mm-hmm. You know, so... <clears throat> That's slightly interesting, and um, pretty much it started with Scooter though. He made a song, right? You know, so for so oh. for those who don't know, right? Little Scooter dropped dropped a diss record and on and yesterday. Was it yesterday? He dropped it on Instagram. You talking about from you talking about from the beginning, or you talking about the, the reset, the new one that he the just dropped? The new one, dropped. the new one, addressing everyone that has beef with him or so called or hating or have ever said anything about him. Yes, because he went off on everybody. And I'm not even. I'm, and let me just say that he went in. He right. went in on a diss record. Right. Shout out to Lord Fulton. You went in. You killed the diss record. But I just feel like. It's a little too late for that. It's too late for this record? For yeah. you to come back? Yeah, it's a little too late. I think that it was uh, more so um, a type of strategy or something. Like, he waited. You know how sometimes you wait and you want to see the response that other people get? Mm -hmm. Just to feed off of that. Like, yo, you really boosting your own head up. When I say it, I feel like it's too late because now he are has you talking a whole about, bunch of people. Are you talking about it's too late on one particular person or everybody no, 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 in no. general? Just everybody in general because now he's addressing everybody at once. And I mean, if he can, if that's what he want to do, if he want to have a whole army coming at him at one time, that's right. Cool. You know, you feel like you can handle it. Shout out to little Scooter. My hat's off to you. Right. But um, I just felt like. Him addressing everybody and one, one song. song can be a bit much and it can get a little messy. I definitely do think that um, it can get Especially messy. in Baltimore. Baltimore, they don't, I mean, they, it's a little different. It's a lot different. And that's why actually I made a post yesterday. Once I started saying it, it's like too many people is taking it personal. Mm -hmm. So people who's listening is taking shit that happened between two individuals personal and that's well, where well, well, everyone that he spoke upon is uh, they all had that no I'm, I'm not saying the, the people he spoke upon I'm talking about the people who's sitting back behind keyboards people oh, who oh well, the internet gangsters right or just fans and listeners period mm -hmm. they're um they are kind of like now feeding in and boosting up and I've seen yesterday I seen comments talking about fuck the west side, east side, ride or die for life. <laughs> west side, we from the A fifteen hundred. Fuck them niggas. You get what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. so it's starting to be a little too much because people that's living in these neighborhoods is taking beefs personal. Not even like it's getting outside of it, which is the part that I don't like. Right. But as far as beefing and um or just going back at back and forth with each other long as you're stating facts i think it's creative for an artist because it makes you you gotta go harder on that nigga because he just came but at apparently you. he's not stating well from what they're saying in the comments and everything else 
that he's not staying fat. That who isn't? Scooter. Okay, so before we even talk about the this record that he just made, a record was made by Sha Money Shallow, mm-hmm. um, which was someone who was affiliated or was a part of YBS mm-hmm. with Lil Scooter. I seen him. that. I seen that. Song. Right. So I think trying trying to out me. If you haven't checked out his video, go check out his video on YouTube. Shy Money. Shy Money. It's called Trying to Out Me. Mm -hmm. And pretty much, he states in the video, he's the one who made up the bird flu dance. And he's he was a part of YBS. Right. And he's no longer a a part of YBS. Right. And basically, he has a diss record outing YBS. And... Little scooter. 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 Mm-hmm. So it's like I think that that ca- kind of personal with Scooter. So of course I'm gonna go back at you, but fuck it, I'm gonna get at every nigga who has something to say. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what I got from it as far as that. But um, I mean, I think this record is a creative way to voice how you feel about somebody, right? And very creative promote your music, right? But in the city that we're with, from, that we're from. And if you go at 10 different niggas on one song from 10 different hoods. You going to get 10 different. You going to get 10 that's different a whole, That's a whole lot of heat coming your way. That's a whole lot of heat. And but I just think in, in a city that we live in, Baltimore, it can get messy. And I, I really, I'm not, I really, I would, really wish he would have went at it a different kind of way. And I kind of, and this the part where me and you, we, everybody listening, me and Shamika don't always agree. We don't. We got calls coming in? Yeah, we got calls coming in. We're going we gonna to start taking calls <laughs> at 7.30, At 7.30, you guys. We got calls ranking in. We're going to start taking calls at 7.30, and we're going to try to answer every call that call in. I'm just so nervous that it's going to go uh, It's going to go left. What, the beef? The, the, the beef? whole this record, the beef with Baltimore oh, no. I just I'm just worried that it's going to go left, and it's just going to get dangerous. Hold on. What I was saying to you is, what I was about us sometimes... Letting the viewers know that me and Shamika don't always agree. And right now, I'm kind of not agreeing because... So you don't agree that it's it too late. dangerous? No, I'm talking about the part where you said he... Not the dangerous part, because I absolutely agree with that. Mm-hmm. But the part about him, he shouldn't have did it now. like he Or he shouldn't have came at all those guys at one time. It's like for me, when right now... We're we gonna see you in one second. <laughs> um, for me right now, it's kind of like shout out to you, his PR because who? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Shout out to his PR team because they doing a wonderful job. Absolutely, no. But with um with this, it's like once so many people come in, and it's like you want to say what you want to say one time, and I'm gonna say it to all y'all. Every all y'all gonna listen to me on one rocket. It ain't gonna be all rockets about everybody. No, one rocket. I'm going to add everybody out. It is what it is. And I ain't saying shit else. I get that. I get so it. So for me, I think that it was good. It was genius. Because there's so many different people now. Everybody's going to respond. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to be trending Scooter Up next. Mm-hmm. So now you got 10 different campaigns all talking about you. Mm-hmm. So that's where the genius part of the whole situation comes into, the, come into play. It's mm-hmm. like, fuck yeah, I don't care anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do I, this. I, I, I'm gonna get your fans. I definitely agree. He got he got, he got the whole city talking about about him and his record. But the downside to me is is that I agree it, with the downside. It's, it's a downside. I feel like again, it can get messy. It can get dangerous. I just I don't and know. it can, especially when you're when guys and egos and just the city we live in and how we are brought up. It's like. Every man for their self. So, nigga, you throw a, sh- a jab, I'm going to throw a jab back. And I, th- and I thought I he was doing good. I thought he was, I, I really had started looking at him in a different light because he wasn't addressing it. I, right. I felt like he was being a bigger person by not addressing nothing that was being, that right. was coming his way. He was like, fuck y'all, I'm going to do me. Right. And then when he dropped it, I was like, I was like, no, I, I'm, I'm not really, I'm for not real? really feeling that. Like, yeah, I mean, like, he went in. I got to give it to him. He went in on a diss record, so, and, and it, it was clever. But I really was looking at him as a grown-ass man doing his own music, shutting shit down without addressing none of the hate and shit that was coming his way. I was looking at him in a different light. And I was at a party at, um, it was the all-black party of Cool Guys and Three the Hard Way did. Okay. So he, he showed up and he performed and he killed it. 
Right. He killed his performance. I had to pull out my my phone and record his performance on my okay. phone, and I don't do no shit like that for no right. reason. No. <laughs> I had, like, he he really killed it, and I'm like, okay, he not addressing not like I don't know what personal um, beef that you know really that's what's true and what's not. Right. All I can see out from the outside looking in, he had a whole bunch of stories about him, he being him being a fraud and this this and that, and he didn't address none of it. He just kept doing his music, kept shutting shit down with his own right. records, and I was. It's like my hat's off to you because I wouldn't been able to do it. Right. But then it was like he dropped the diss track. I was like, he killed it, but damn. Damn, I ain't, so, I ain't really, and I, I ain't really want him to go that route. I just want him to keep ignoring all the bullshit. For me, I, but I understand it's like when you got so many people talking so much shit, it's only so much shit that you can ignore. Right. And, and like I like you said, the shit was genius. Genius. But you know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't think that was I, the right move? No, I mean, I mean, it might have been right for him. I mean, he's trending. But your opinion, though? No. But my opinion, I would have rather for him to to, to go to to go the big boy route. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the big boy route is the best yet easy route. But sometimes you just want to, just like for us when we got the, our first little bad comment, it's like you'll let one ride. But at the while, um, who are you playing with? Like, no. Um, yeah. You giving them sense? So yeah. sometimes it's like all y'all mad or however you feel about my record or some people saying he's not from the Avenue. I don't fucking know. I'm not from the Avenue. So I don't know who the fuck from down there and who's not from down there. But it's like now and like the guy Shallow. Him and Shallow both were supposedly from the Avenue. At the end of Shallow this record, he said, Bitch, I'm the one that's really from the A V E. Like, so he's saying you really not from there, but you were just tagging on with him because that's where he from to get it up. So now you split in a neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Cause now niggas choosing sides. Yeah. So like you said, that's a downfall to the situation, but I mean And then and then you got and then it's like some people in Baltimore City a lot of people support. A lot of people have the same supporters, right? So now you're kind of like having your supporters to choose who they want to. And you have team you want. Like for me, I, I listen to D Boy. I like D Boy. Uh, he I actually, like his, I, D-Boy, like his, I D-Boy, like his music. D Boy won um, Rap Artist of the Year last year mm-hmm. at the Baltimore Music Awards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to you. And him. that was a little. There was a little controversy on that that he shouldn't have won. Right, a little scooter should have won, and all this other. stuff. Yeah, so yeah, it was a lot of controversy on that. So yeah, and I like, I don't know who YGG is, but you know what? Somebody yo, they have a song and you know it. You but know listen, the song. Somebody was oh like, y'all need to. Um, somebody was like, you need to get YGG on your they show. Told, they told us, and I'm like, also. and I'm like, who YBS? And they was like, no, YGG. Fuck YBS. They keep getting beat up anyway. So I'm like, oh, okay. Somebody said that. Yeah, somebody said that. They are <laughs> off the show. <laughs> well, listen, and even with that Brima right there, they be getting beat up. Scooter said in a diss record, yeah, I lost the fight. He was talking about he lost the fight, the D-Boy, because I think they did fight. I don't think. I don't. Don't. Yeah, because he said, he called me the next day. we like, I don't want no. Yeah. You, you didn't hear that? But he said that, but I didn't hear him say D-Boy name. I kind of sworn he was talking about D-Boy. And that, See, that, I don't that, know. That eight verses, but. <laughs> that's why we need y'all to call. See, y'all, right. can, y'all can call We in. know bits and pieces. We get emails. Tax and little things like that. Everybody was sending me emails when the guy Shallow, um, yo, did you see this? This mm. like we're not just a radio station that fucking do this, <laughs> right? And, and let, me, let, <laughs> let me let me put that out there too because <laughs> after this shit dropped, we had so many people calling, um, wanting to come on the show and you know tell their part, tell their story. We're not about to do that. Y'all not come, gonna come in here and make our whole Sugar Mama Radio show about some fucking uh, little school because I ain't or the beef. I ain't not getting that or the beef that y'all got with him. Or y'all want to come yes, talk about he it? He don't get that type of credit up in here. He not gonna make all them shows. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Everybody not gonna come in here to keep talking about little school. I'm not. I don't want to hear. I do not want to hear. So if you wanna if you wanna oh come, come and promote your music. That's cool. 
But do not come in here or send us a request talking about you want to respond to Lil' Scooter <laughs> this. I, no. It ain't happening, Captain. Yeah, no, because I don't like that. Because then it's like, don't use us to try to team up on him. Like, that don't have nothing to like. Yes, I'm not I'm not team people. Maniac Dre. I'm not team D-Boy. I'm not team Lil' Scooter. Team Sugar, sugar Mama Radio. Team <laughs> Sugar Mama Radio. Fuck all that. This is team Just Sugar Mama Radio. Just, Just to, to put, put it out there. We not on nobody goddamn team. And so, people be thinking that because when you talk about I'm like right now we're talking about this because it literally broke the net and nobody else maniac right? I didn't mean, say broke the net I just he broke Baltimore net I'm saying like as far as of course not globally <laughs> but here in the city yeah it's like here in the city Baltimore little music pool this has been crazy like and everybody's making music and everybody's coming harder than the other and Scooter the things that he was saying he even said something about Snoop from The Wire Oh, yeah, if she, you remember, off about that. yeah, if you remember <laughs> um, Maniac Dre, when he came in, if you watch the show, if you haven't, log, well, you should be logged on to Ready on Fire right now if you're watching us. But log on to Ready on Fire and um, go to On Demand and check out our past shows. You'll see um, where Scooter pretty much, not Scooter, I'm sorry, Maniac Dre pretty much, that's uh, what exactly happened with that little situation and Snoop. From the wire, Felicia, um, her name came <laughs> up. <laughs> her name came up. <laughs> why you had to say that? Why you had to go there? This, oh my god! god. <laughs> you want to say Felicia? <laughs> don't call the lady Felicia on this show. We don't need her coming up here. She gonna be mad. Hey, boo! You know. gonna be mad at me? <laughs> but he was like pretty much in the song. He called her a uh, um. I can't believe you call that lady Felicia. Oh my god! Ain't that, that's what I be saying right now. Is that her real name? That's her real name. And you laughing? Because it's funny. Because it's uh, <laughs> no, bye, <no>. Felicia. <laughs> I'm not fooling with you. Anyway, <laughs> <Not the snoop. laughs> we love you over here. We do. <laughs> we really do. Um, but no, pretty much he said. <laughs> that's funny. Pretty much he said that. Um, now she I can't get snitch. them. I'm sorry. Now I can't get them pictures. That was no. You remember right. them pictures where she she had on that wig, that lace front. Oh, Snoop. Oh my God. No, pull it up. It probably was Photoshop. I'm gonna see that now. But Come yeah, no. Um. <clears throat> She um, she, pretty much she said how she had snipped like ritual snitch like, what the fuck you talking about like get out of here, and she actually of course so she said she ain't never told before so let's yeah she there. left at least she left a comment on it like I guess he's trying to say like she don't keep it in contact with somebody because she like I talk to my brother every day and I ain't never told shit fuck you mean so. She's saying, allegedly, what school they're saying is false. What do you mean, boy? I (laughs) (laughs) said. And that's another thing. Meek Mills, they say he changed the guy Shiloh. It's just so much. It's too much. Okay. Shiloh said he changed up because of Meek Mills. He trying to act like he from Philly. Bitch, we from Baltimore. What? Wait a minute. What happened? Yeah, like... I sent you. I, I seen a video. You talking about the video of the shot money? Yeah, shot, it, yeah. You I probably seen it. she seen it, but didn't listen to half the lyrics. Yeah, How you gonna it's okay. Like that. I listened. No, I listened to it. You I did. To half. I really did because that was one of the inquiries about coming on the show. Right. So I listened to it, and again, I'm gonna say, just please don't contact us about trying to con- respond to law school. Though. Or trying to beef with him on our show and come here and just be all uh, wretched. Is it almost seven thirty yet? One, so listen, we one ha- minute. We need y'all calls. Make sure y'all call in four 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 three six one two seven seven. That's the number. Y'all can call in right now. And talk to us. Let us know what y'all think about Baltimore beef and your live. Who team you on? We rapping Team Sugar Mama already. Right I don't know. Y'all who should y'all be rapping the same. Y'all should be rapping the same. But I mean, who side y'all on? How, who you rapping? Maniac Dre. D boy, YGG, what's the name? Milk, Shy Money, like who do you think? And the guy Milk is, oh my gosh, that's interesting too. Yo, I, Scooter, he just kind of really went in. It's like you gotta listen like more than once. He said, Do you have a business, product, or event that you need to promote to men and women ages 23 to 44? If so, Radio on Fire can help you do it with one of our promo packages. Our broadcasts reach over 150,000 people per month. Sponsorship for one or all of our radio programs can include live mentions, social media posting, commercials, and more. 
Visit RadioOnFire.com slash advertise to find out more about a promo package that fits your needs. Rates start as low as $50. If you want to reach men and women ages 23 to 44, log on now. RadioOnFire.com.